I remember when I started noticing changes in Beyonce's voice, probably around the Miss Carter tour when she performed Freakin' Dress. She was hitting all of the high notes, but they were much bigger and broader than the record. Then I remember listening to Sandcastles off of Lemonade. Her voice sounded thick and full much earlier in her vocal range, but the first place where I knew for sure that Beyonce's voice was changing was at Coachella when she hit the first F5 in Crazy in Love. Love. Beyonce's voice has been changing and it's changing her music. I'm going to tell you how in this video. This is O'Neill Gerald. I was listening to The Lion King The Gift, an album that was curated by Beyonce for the release of the 2019 remake of Disney's The Lion King. I was shocked at how low I heard Beyonce singing. At one point, I heard her sing a G2 on other side, with such tone and weight. But to be honest, I wasn't actually shocked, because I was already hearing weight that was being added to Beyonce's lower notes, such as the B2 on Boss, versus the thinness that was in her B-flat 2 on the Survivor Tour with Destiny's Child. But it wasn't only that she was singing low notes. The general range of most of the songs she's been singing lately have covered a much lower span than usual. For example, Sandcastles from Lemonade, probably the closest song to a power ballad that we've gotten from her in a while, it peaks at B flat 4. Stay, baby. Or Spirit from this Lion King album, which peaks at D5. If this were seven years ago, Beyonce would have been peaking at the F sharp vibes, like on the four album with Love on Top and Start Over. Beyonce's voice has changed drastically, and these changes had to be accommodated for in the songwriting and improvisation of her songs. But what is causing Beyonce's voice to change? There are a few things. Age would be number one. Beyonce's peak as a commercial pop artist probably spanned from irreplaceable to single ladies. She was about 25 to 27 at the time, and this was the time when she was singing her hardest and her highest. Check the A-flat 5 from the unreleased backup and the G5 from Sugar Mama. Now, as Beyonce hit her early 30s with her self-titled album, her highest belted notes descended drastically. The one highest belt we got on that album was an E5 on Heaven. No! And it's generally understood that a woman's vocal prime is around age 30 when she has full weight and depth. Beyonce is now 38, so that's well understood. But another very interesting reason why Beyonce's voice could be changing is childbirth. I remember hearing from voice clinician and coach Delisa Archer speak about how her childbirth experiences changed her voice. So I decided to give her a call and hear what she had to say on the subject. I remember complaining to my voice teacher that I couldn't hit an A5 anymore. And before I had children, um, I was singing like an E flat six. There was a new richness in my voice. There was a darkness in my voice. I felt like I couldn't really sustain notes anymore. And then there was the loss of range. Um, I didn't necessarily lose power, but I think I lost mm -hmm. flexibility of my power. So yeah, I just thought at 24, I was like, man, I'm washed up. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out that what happened with Delisa is even more common than I thought. A study at the University of Sussex found that after childbirth, women's average voice pitches dropped by over 5%, equivalent to more than one piano note, and their highest maximum pitch of their voices also dropped by 44 hertz, or 2.2 semitones on average. That's more than two piano notes. And this made perfect sense to me. Although Beyonce hit the F5 from Crazy in Love at Coachella, there was a very minuscule yet major windup that I was hearing vocally for her to be able to reach it. A small glissando or vocal slide, if you will. <laughs> the amount of effort that she gave in the note sounded similar to the G5 from Sugar Mama in 2006. <laughs> or the F sharp five from Start Over in 2011. So as time has gone on, the notes where Beyonce is giving the most effort is getting lower and lower and lower. 
Now, she gave birth to her first daughter, Blue, in 2012, and her twins, Rumi and Sir, in 2017, and from what I read, that last pregnancy was a lot to deal with. So Beyonce's life factors are definitely contributing to the changes that are happening in her voice. But what does that mean for her music? Find out on part two of our discussion on how Beyonce's voice is changing. For now, subscribe to this channel because this is the place where we think deeply to create art that changes the world. I'm O'Neill Gerald, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.